Hello everyone, I'm gonna go ahead and post on here, but this is trial one of baby ducks swimming. I'm gonna set up the camera in a good place where you can see. I need to go get them, but this is the pool. So y'all are gonna stay here for a second. We have five, I'll go over them when we're going in and their names. Y'all didn't think I was coming back, did you? Eh, we were gone for a second. I'll introduce them to you when you get on the other side. So it's light. I was in theater. Y'all already know this. Okay. I'm gonna get the two youngest ones that we have. Okay. This lighter one right here. Oh, y'all can see what I didn't want to show you, but you can see now. Um... This is Hera, a lighter blue Swedish. And this is Havoc, a little bit darker blue Swedish. They're both females though, or should be. Go in. You can go in the pool. Go in the pool. I don't even know if you can see. You can see. Okay, go, go, go. Get in the pool. Oh, get in. Oh, okay. Let me. This is the male Welsh Harley Quinn. Okay, you gotta calm down. Gotta calm down. His name is Bodie. Little Bodie. It's not focusing, I don't think. His name's Bodie, though. It's okay. And he has two females. Two Welsh Harley Quinn females. Chill. Kayak and Captain Shelley. Not really sure which one yet. We're gonna wait till they get a little older where I can tell them the difference in plumage. But let's like get them in the pool. First time swimming. We'll move you up a little bit so you can see. And let me back out. It's okay. Let me get you a brick. always how I start my ducklings out in a smaller pool to get them used to me and then we graduate to a big kid pool when they're older of course hey, it's okay and I am gonna dry them off after this just so you know it's okay. there you go. 
I'm trying to get them social. The other, the Welsh Harley Quinns are about a week older than the Swedish, or it could be about the same, actually. We got them two days apart. Well, one day apart. Actually, we got the Welsh Harley Quinns on <laughs> swimming. We got the Welsh Harley Quinns on Thursday, the last Thursday in March, and we got the Blue Swedish the last Friday in March. And yeah, that's how we've we've been adding. We have two other ones that I posted about yesterday on. Well, I've posted on here about them before, but I've posted on Instagram about them yesterday. Um, I'm going to be posting these guys today once I get some more pictures. Oh! Swinging stuff on me! Um, but yeah, they are doing great. I wanted them to swim. I think Havoc has a little, um, little bit of a leg problem. I'm not entirely sure on that. Um, if she does. I'm going to try to correct it. If it is something, it's probably just something missing in their diet. But swimming can help them get their legs back to what they should have been. But they're also little ducklings. I realize their legs are not going to be as strong and they're tired a lot. So they'll be fine. Um, but he will be being... These two females will actually be being bred to um, Duffy. They will be mates along with Gladys. Uh, we went with the H theme because that's what I was going to do anyways, but I, their names are staying Havoc and Hera. We'll fig I'll figure out something else, whether we do Gubby and Gladys' kids as G's and their kids as H's. Oh my gosh, swimming! Swimming! I do not know how well you can hear me. It is a little windy out here and I do apologize for that. Um, I wanted to get them out as soon as possible in case it is a leg problem, which I actually, I really don't think it is, but we will see. I need to be getting more pictures of these guys, um, so after I end this video I will probably be getting more pictures of them. But these are going to be my Welsh Harley Quinn breeders, um, and yeah. And I've also found, this is some little duck wisdom for you, uh, because I've raised ducks with access to water full time and with access to water not all the time or with limited access only when I'm out here doing stuff like this or switching them around in pens and things or just because we didn't have enough space for extras um, but they actually it when ducks have more access to the water they grow quicker uh, if they don't have access to the water as often they do not grow as quickly which makes sense if, I mean, it's a waterfowl. Don't know if this information's out there. That's just what I've noticed within my own flocks. And, well, my own flock. Well, a few separate ones now. My sister just got back from her run. Um, but yeah, these guys are gonna be in the pool for a little bit. And once I start them in the pool, I try to get them out every day just because it encourages them to be closer to me, especially with the smaller pool. That's why I don't use the bigger one right away. With the smaller one, I can reach around. And now they're all swimming. And now you're all swimming. Now yeah, you're all swimming. But yeah, and we will be having more ducklings soon. I'm gonna be hatching out for my own blue Swedishes. I want to acquire a silver Swedish, but we'll see. Um, still, I don't know how well you can hear me. But, yeah, these guys are going to be part of something a lot bigger than what you know right now. Yes. You're not coming over here? What? Please? Please? Yeah, this is some calming um, duck antics for you, along with me talking, which I do that a lot. But I know I have two males, and, or two males. I have one male and two females of the Well Charlie Quinns, and then I should have two females in the um, Blue Swedish. <laughs> I love it when they get up on stuff. And, Flap. 
and they did need more water. They ran out of water this morning in the brooder, and I have yet to fill it up. I've been doing stuff with the adult ducks and trying to get them all done before I move on to the babies. Um, so yeah. Not neglecting these guys. Um, there are five ducks and two turkeys in the pen. The two turkeys will actually be getting moved out very quickly. Don't know how long. You're snorting little waters. Little water bubbles. Little water bubbles. Don't jump out. We don't do that. We don't do that. I love when they put their nose under there and just like snort out. I don't exactly know why they do it. I think they're. I think it's a way of like them blowing their noses, kind of, and it makes sense. Hey, hey, you come see me. It is windy and the water is fairly cold, so they aren't gonna stay out here too long. Or if they are gonna stay out here for a little bit, I'm going to get another bin and put them in the bin instead, and put a little water in there. And then once this is cleaned out, I'm going to put some, some shavings in here and let them just run around in here. Uh, I do think they are getting a little cold, so I might end this, and I still want to get pictures, so let me go ahead and end this. Um, thank you guys for watching. This is their first time in the pool at all, um, or access to this much water, period. So they are doing exactly what I want them to do, and with me here, it also helps them reinforce that or helps reinforce that I am quote unquote an older duck. Um, I'm not, but it helps reinforce that aspect. Um, but yeah. You're so cute! So cute! You can really tell their size difference now. Um, but yeah, they should be fine. They'll be growing quickly. So, yeah. Let me go ahead and end this, though. And then I am going to take pictures for Instagram. And if you guys follow me there, you will see these pictures coming up. I don't know which one's going to be going up I'm, first. I'm pretty sure the other one is... Oh, the Well Charlie Quinn's joining in. You are having so much fun! Yeah! I think that's the male. I'm not entirely sure right now. You really can't tell after a certain age, but when they're really little, you can tell really good. So let me go ahead and get pictures. I keep waiting because I keep thinking that they're going to do something fun, and they did a second ago. If I, if I would have ended that, you would never have seen that. Um, oh my goodness! So cute! But this really just reinforces that duck, ducks were supposed to be in the water. Anyways, I mean, even when they're a day old, they can swim. I mean, it, they need to be dried off, obviously, and their mother would have waterproofed them. But they can go in the water that young. Most people who keep them domestically do not do water that young. So, I don't know. I like to do water when they're young because I think it reinforces that uh, water is their friend. Because imagine, if they had, were with their mom, their mom would have taken them into the pool or into the pond or river or creek or stream when they were really young. And these guys don't have a mom, per se. They have me, which I am not. I'm not their mom. I'm not their mom, no matter how much they love me. I'm not their mom. I'm not your mom. And they don't like me, but they're staying with me because they are a little cold. But I know, I know. I'm gonna get you guys out, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and end this, get some pictures, and then I'm gonna dump, put them back in their box, then dump this out, and then I need to clean out their brooder, but they are gonna be staying in here with a little water and maybe a feeder um, once I dump the water out, and I'm just gonna put shavings in the bottom. Just enough to cover the bottom. Don't jump out at it. Don't jump out. Just enough to cover the bottom so they're all doing well. Um, but yes, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one. And I have to get up. They're gonna get up. I'm gonna get up to turn it off. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you all for watching. Bye.